Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Plum Wild Podcast. Uh, it's Wednesday, November 15th. I'm Nathan Waddell, and as always, I'm joined in the booth by my best friend, Damian Kiefer. Good morning. Tonight's episode is presented by House of Speed Setup Shop. Whether you're racing sprint cars, modifieds, or late models, www.houseofspeed.us has the dirt setups you need. Use uh, code PLUMWILD15 for 15% off at checkout. That's PLUMWILD15. Uh, big thanks to Dylan Hauser for, again, coming on as the sponsor for another episode. Uh, we got a lot to talk about today. Got a good guest lined up, but first, Kiefer, how we doing? Not too bad. Had a few long days here in a row. We had a long weekend. Oh, dude. What about that weekend, man? Dude, we had a great weekend. Wow. And we found out, first and foremost, <laughs> one of the most important things to note about what happened this weekend is that I am the finger master. Mm. Kiefer came I over for Friendsgiving. <laughs> and I dominated fingers. Uh-huh. And just so that this comes across as clear, uh, this was a game called Fingers. And it's basically you put your, like everybody puts their finger on an object in the center of the circle. And you have to guess how many people, like you take turns and you have to guess how many people are going to leave their finger on. And uh, if you guess it correctly, you're out. And uh, which is the, good. Yeah, which is good. And if you're the last one in, as in you lose, you take a shot. And Kiefer fucking dominated. dominated bro dominated. dominated that shit i was oh. calling my shots and everything oh he was he was calling it dude he at one point like he was like i'm just good at this he was like watch this and it's his turn and he's like you know three two one and he calls it three three bam. and it's fucking oh my god dude we Let's lost our shit it was it was awesome um that was a really fun game you came you drove all the way to alabama from uh st louis area whatever not really st louis but st louis area about, eight, about seven and a half uh, for friends giving what a wow. guy what a guy i am ai you're ai Actually, yeah chats howard's, AI. howard's howard's ai howard weaver is yeah we're we've determined that for sure but yeah he actually is like <laughs> he is ai he he is the ai that everyone talks about that's that's Howard because like no one knows about his past life before I race like I racing right and like, like he was around like it. sim racing like no one knows who he was before sim racing that's true you know but did we have we had a blast um at Friendsgiving uh we did we, we ate some good food ate some really key you brought some of that Wait, we yeah, got to tell him the story Mac. Yeah, <laughs> no you gotta tell Mac. no you gotta tell him about what, like so we on Friday night, Kiefer was driving, and he was uh, going to arrive at our house at about 8. And he's uh, he's driving, and me and Hannah are back at the house. We had just dropped off my dog at my parents' house, and we're just, you know, chilling. Kiefer FaceTimes us because he's, I guess, getting kind of close to the house. And uh, we're like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, just, just driving, getting kind of close. He's like, I brought – I got went to the store and got, you know, all sorts of food and stuff to bring, you know, for Friendsgiving – and uh and he shows us in the back in the back seat like all these packages of food and he goes i got a decent amount of meat here <laughs> and out of context of that meat. sounds so fucking funny bro i got a decent amount of meat <laughs> i got a decent amount of meat here man oh that was, to say it, but... oh that was too funny bro too funny i i we've been saying that and uh another day another victory for the og yeah another day we i do i brought down the playstation 5 we yeah. were we were triple teaming the the router yeah and the... we still managed we still picked up we picked up a few dubs yeah I think we picked up a, a dub maybe we i haven't dude in rocket league yeah well we pick up dubs in rocket league all the time but we yeah. dude it, i've been enjoying fortnite so much since they brought back og bro like it's so much i'm fun. still not i'm still not here for it but i'm here for it you know yeah you're here for us I, i'm here for you because we're here for it, it. yeah and that's I'm emotional. yeah i'm just the emotional support butterfly but once this new maps 
once it well once the old map is gone again, I'm done. You're, I'm retired. Yeah. For Fortnite until just, they bring back Dusty Depot. They're not gonna bring back Dusty Depot, bro. I just want Dusty Depot. Like, why is that so much to ask? It's not coming back. It's not coming back. You you got the new Modern Warfare three though, right? I do got the new Modern Warfare three. Probably gonna be playing that. And I did see on recent occurring events. I mean, uh, I think Braswell and the boys bringing it up in a, a uh, another throwback another race. Throwback which, race. Which, Are you running it? I, I, I is he coming out of retirement it, this I, early? I will say oh. I got a little a little spark in my nut sack, but we'll see. <laughs> a little spark in the old nut sack. Yeah, it's yeah. at Knoxville. I mean, we all love Knoxville. You love Knoxville, right? Like, yeah, the good old Knox Vegas open setup, super late models. I love these throwback races. Like they're like, I think they're it's fun. such, it's such I, a I, great I try, idea. Them Cause like, they're just like, and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's like pill draw. It's not, it is pill draw. Yes. So like, it's like, it's like, I mean, at the end of the day, you're signing, like you sign up to race. You're signing well, up to race to race. Like, you're I not wish, signing up, like it's, it's fun. I, I like wish it. I like that, that kind of style of honestly i wish that they wouldn't let you know like wouldn't put the entry list and let you know who's racing as who like i like it so much better because for those that don't know the throwback race you still don't know you still you can don't look know. though you can look and and yeah well i well i've been a lot you get once you're around long enough you can like i know who i know comments. skip arp's gonna be fucking blake majulis yeah uh, skip arp is uh, dwayne hommel's gonna be you know dylan hauser yep uh i mean you know you guys i'm gonna your, be billy moyer Okay, I thought. Well, you normally race as your dad. Well, or it's like Dwayne. It's the Billy Moore Brazuka car, pretty much. Yeah, I'm gonna be but Ronnie Johnson. It, I mean, I got his car right here. This is the car that I'm gonna be running. That's uh, wait, I'm covering the number, but yeah, yeah. Wow. So that's that's my throwback rap. But I, I love these throwback races. I mean, like I said, for those who don't know, like they change. You you go into this as it's like a league race basically yeah. and they they do that so that they can change your name to the driver that you're racing as <clears throat> you run their throwback rap and unless you look at the entry list you have no clue who you are like, racing it takes against. a good amount of brain cells while you're racing to still figure it out howard says he has the exact same car dude ronnie johnson is my hero um and he's wow. the reason why i'm number five but that's um that's you know that's who I'm gonna be racing uh, as in the in the throwback race. Um, wow, you're lame. Yeah, I, w I also ran a Nick Hoffman once, which isn't a throwback, but it's supposed to be like what ten years or older. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this Ronnie Johnson car is like from the fucking nineties, so yeah, I, I think I'm definitely in the clear. I just love the idea so much, and you know, uh, open supers at Knoxville. I mean, it's gonna be gonna be great i think the last one that i ran was open supers at eldora and it was like a year or more ago like it was uh you it's know what it was listen you know when it was i can almost pinpoint exactly when it was you remember cedar lake pro series last year and and the controversy that you and i were in the controversy yes. right yes. uh whether or not I lifted for you to, to let you buy me on the last lap. Yeah. So the reason that I bring that up is because I know that you the, lifted. no, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know that the last throwback race that I ran was at Eldora and it was open supers and I was running, making, you know, laps in practice and Zach McSwain messages me in the race well, it's, it's him as whoever, right? And he knows that I'm Ronnie Johnson in that race, and he was racing as whoever. But he messages me and says, are you going to lift for me in our heat like you did for Kiefer? And I was like, what the fuck? So this yeah. was like right after, right after that race. Good. Yeah. I'm pretty sure me and him were in the same heat, and he was like starting behind me or something. That's why he messaged me that. But I thought that was kind of funny. But... Other than that, man, you know, the, uh, right the, the gobbler, you know, gobbler's, you got the gob up. gobblers coming up the, uh, November 28th and 30th, uh, big 1000 win VLR street stocks, uh, money race. It's, uh, 
at Knoxville. They just announced it yesterday. Yeah. We were yep. going to announce it. We were going to announce it. But and apparently the contract fell anxious. through. I mean, you know, yeah. they they just couldn't wait 24 hours to announce They just it. couldn't hold we they couldn't pay us enough. That's what it was. That's basically what it was. Like we put our price out yeah. there and they were like, "Ah, like, we can't afford you." Yeah, I'm like just to put it on the show, it's just too much. Yeah, just a little too much there, but I'm not big on street stocks, but um this will Are be a you good competing? one. No, fuck no. I fucking okay. hate street stocks, bro. I was going to say, no. like, you're no, there's no way this guy is. <laughs> no, bro. No, like, uh, what I was going to say is that, like, it'll be, it'll be one of those races that, like, everyone talks about that I can actually just watch, you know, because. Yeah. Uh, We're kind of like, well, we had Pro Series too Monday. Oh, yeah. We had Pro Series too. We could talk about that briefly. Um, um, I saw. Volusia. I mean, I, did you, Volusia. Yeah. Uh, I watched a majority of it. Bergeron qualified pole. I know Hayden. I saw. I remember that. Hayden Cardwell won first heat against him, ripping a cushion. Dude, wow. that guy's an he animal. Was, he was tapping the wall and one and two, and I was like, "Yeah, there's no like, how do you beat that? Like, you can't. I, not one and two, three and four. Yeah. Um, and then uh, in the feature, Cardwell led a lot. That actually, the Alpha Industry guys were. Yeah, they were. They were they, uh, they're they're was, up front a lot. Um, Rumsey came from kind of deep in that to to come yeah, up he there. Did. Eden started, I want to say third or fourth. Um, um, Cardwell was running second, jumped the cushion, and he was died. leading at that point. Well, like him and him and Bergeron the, were like. Yeah. Bergeron, Bergeron was running some hot bottom. Oh, dude, all Bergeron, night. he if, looked really good. If you ever watch Bergeron, uh, like if you, dude. There, it doesn't matter the build. It doesn't matter if it's the OG build, if it's the the build that they were just on with the leaner sets, or this current build. I don't think in there's sprints. anyone in sprints. I don't think there's anyone better at running the bottom at Volusia than Bergeron. He won last year uh, in the opener at Volusia, running the bottom at yeah. Edens. I remember that. Like he's just an animal. and then the year before that, well, the year when Julius won it, he ran second. Right. He was right. He was, but they were running the Majulis top. Majulis pulled race. away. Majulis pulled away at the end because Majulis was ripping on the top, but Bergeron was trying to dig on the bottom. Blake told me that that race they had found that leaner set thing, uh, like yeah. fifteen minutes before the race happened, which that may yeah. be an exaggeration and maybe I'm misremembering, but like still, that's uh, right. I mean, shit, they were that that Bergeron is just an animal, and looking at it. Uh, for the rest of the season, I don't know the next race, but I I don't see, uh, you know, many people that can contend with Bergeron for the for the points this no. year. Well, it's gonna be. I mean, of course, it's a ten know. race. It's, it's season. week one. It's week one. Bro. It's a ten race season. I get that, but I think he's hungry to win another championship. He hasn't won one. Right. Not like off. it's not like it's you know fucking uh you know uh a slump or anything or like he's fallen off but like he hasn't won one since i believe 2020 uh um, he's been fast he's won races he's yeah. just kind of missed and he's it. always it's in the hunt there at the end it's yeah. just i think and he's I think been this racing a lot of other pro stuff yeah i think he's kind of maybe dialed it back a little bit to try to focus more on the sprints but that's how uh week one went for the sprint car pro series we'll update y'all uh, next week throughout, after throughout the series yeah throughout the series we're going to be updating you with that uh, but for now we're going to bring on our special guest desmond busby and we will be right back with him all right and we are back with our special guest for this episode desmond busby he's the driver of the number 82 d1rt machine in the world of outlaws butt kicker late model pro series He's one of the best dirt eye racers in the world. He's a good friend of both myself and Kiefer. He finished 12th in this year's late model Pro Series points, locking himself into next year's Pro Series. And more recently, he finished second in NWRA Super uh, Late Model points and won the NWRA Big Block Modified points. Des, welcome to the Plum Wild Podcast. Hey, th thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. I just got to do this one time. What's up? What's yeah. up, Dez? What's up, Waddell? Oh, yeah, I missed got, that. Got, hold on, hold on. Then, then you got Keefe. <laughs> What's up, yeah. Well, we got Kefler, uh, Keefe, Kefler. Yeah. Kefler. 
Kefa. 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 Dude, that's all these... my. Uh, that's whenever we're rage mode. Dude, all yeah, these yeah, announcers yeah. always have crazy ways to pronounce our last names, but. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm glad I'm glad that you're here, man. I've been, you know, I've been. I don't know if anyone else knows this, but I've been pestering you, trying to get you <laughs> on the podcast since like halfway yeah. through the pro series, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we've been uh we've been milking it a little bit, a little nervous, <laughs> but hey, we're here, we're here now. Yeah, we're here. I'm glad that you're here. Yeah. So I want to yeah, start yeah. from the beginning here, uh, and this is a question that I ask everyone, but. How did you get into motorsports and sim racing? Um, well, in the beginning, honestly, I didn't know shit about motorsports. To be honest, I mean, I, I liked uh, I like drifting a lot, so I just liked the I don't know just the concept of drifting. And then my uh, my uncles and grandpa bought a micro, and once I found that out, you know, I went to the well, I was probably like fucking 11 12 ish um went to the dirt track and fucking i'm like hey i, I might enjoy this shit like i i might <laughs> like it a little bit and then you know i start going you know over the years and uh my uncle got a an i racing setup like right when dirt dropped like and of course i was gonna go over and check it out right, like, right. fuck it that's a game and uh yeah, About how old up. were you at that time? Mm, well, the, uh, when, when did Dare come out? Like 2017? I believe yeah. so. I think 2017. Yeah. End of 2016. So, shit. Well, hey, I'm not good at math, but I was probably like around <laughs> fucking 14, Well, how old are you now? We'll do, we'll do the math. A 18. 18. So you were yeah, about so you 12 or 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was six years okay. ago. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So I started, yeah, running on there, like going over there every other weekend, just fucking around on there and. I begged my parents for like fucking two, three years. Like, can I get my own? Like, please. But at the time, <laughs> I had like a, a little laptop right. that could like barely run it. But I would, I finally got a subscription and like I couldn't even load into no fucking races. Like, <laughs> nothing, dude. dude so was, we've all been there. I think we've yeah. all been there. Yeah, honestly. yeah. I just, I had a little laptop wow. and my fucking Ferrari wheel. Like, it was, it was a shit setup. Force feedback but, or no? No, oh. no. It, like it, it didn't even turn like fucking 180 or whatever. I, I actually broke the wheel. It probably so had it that turn. centering spring in it, right? Yeah, it like yeah. Well, it, it, it only it only turned uh, it only turned 90 degrees. Oh my god! So, so That's I tough. I ended up That's I tough. yeah I ended up breaking the wheel so it could like you know Hurry. turn a, turn a little <laughs> bit more than I'd like. So I was like, fuck it, we'll just roll with this. No. But yeah, where, where, hey, was we, where was I? Where was I? You've huh. been here. You well, then you for, you fi probably we've made it to your setup now. You finally yeah. got your setup. Yeah, finally got a setup. You know, I got to actually like join hosteds or just officials and actually like race against people. And then yeah, fucking here we are. <laughs> here when, we did, are. when would you say you join? You've been around now in D1RT for a relatively long time. Where would you say you came from? Like, where did you? Where were you before D1RT? Uh, before D1RT, I was just with a bunch of buddies, uh, you know, like Paul Hollander, you know, Randy guy, Reese, you know, yeah, right. like all them guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. like we were yep. just bullshitting and hosted. And then I, I joined, uh, what, wait, like my bef first, before that, how do you, what? how do you become friends with those guys? Like, are you, you friends with them in real life? Uh, or is it like through, through Twitch streams? Cause through yeah. Twitch. then I met them through, uh, Jesse Enerkin's, uh, right. Twitch stream. And then yep. uh, Image ninety eight. I don't know if you guys heard of it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. So Candyman, dude. Yeah, yeah. So we would always, uh, we would always bullshit in the chat, and then we got all invited in like discords and just started bullshit and became yeah. good friends. Just raced, just yeah. raced, but, and then yeah, here we are. Yeah. And then, and then you... uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we we weren't like really a team. Like we were gonna get something going but it didn't work out so like my first official team i was with uh team no love with hackney and uh massey and all them oh boy but that that only lasted like three four weeks and then i went back with the original <laughs> group and then uh i think you, you know what i think i remember in. those days i think i remember yeah. you being on on yeah. pnl yeah i don't well i, don't I was I, I was recall. i was number seven i was number seven at the time Maybe I, I just 82. seen them pictures of that car. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't it green? 
Yeah, it was green. Yeah. My first rap. Yeah, it was yeah. green. So, and then they were tied in with House of Speed. So I got like a House of Speed pose, like, and all that. So you were that's probably, that, that's <laughs> yeah, probably where you're you in Prodigy. Me. Yeah, yeah. And then so, yeah. how did that lead into D1RT? Like you joined it? Because D1RT has been around for a long time and it's a pretty prestigious, prestigious I would say a pretty prestigious right. team. Yeah. Right. How, yeah. did, how did that end up happening? Uh, yeah, when I ended up leaving uh, Team No Love, uh, I went back with Paul and all of them, the original group. And then uh, Image was tied in with Diggs at the time. So right. he was already tied in with the D1RT guys. And then Paul ended up getting recruited to the team and then uh me and my buddy dusty we were both on team no love when we left he ended up like talking into eddie well eddie was the team owner at the time right um he ended up talking to eddie and like getting me and dusty onto the team and fucking just been there ever since was it because like because i no offense was it was it yeah, like yeah. he saw like a lot of potential or like were you already fast at that point like because the way i see you is like i've just always known you as being fast so like yeah no at the time yeah i wasn't i was like average yeah. like i wasn't slow but i wasn't like where i'm at now well i don't even consider myself fast <laughs> now but you know hey, no, I, I, was, hey, no. I, I was decent though i was decent and then Paul kind of like sweet talked him a little bit to like just saying fuck it, let him on. And then yeah. once I got on the team, we just like progressed from there pretty much. Yeah. Hell yeah! Just ran a bunch of laps. And when shit. when did when did you really start? And I ask this question a lot too. But when did you really start to feel like you were okay? I'm I'm pretty I'm getting pretty good. You know like you know yeah. I'm 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 competitive. I'm competitive. At a high level. You know I could yeah. have a shot the next time they run pro qualifiers. I could have a shot. Like when did you start to feel that? Yeah, uh, well, yeah, once I joined, I was already, like, decent, like I said. Um, fuck, I don't even know, to be honest. I'm still figuring it out now. Like, I don't even, I don't even know, if, I don't even know one, if I can compete now. Was there, like, like a moment one, like that? If there's one thing, you know like, what I mean? One like, thing about Dez, he always doubts himself. Yeah, there, this yeah, man yeah. has zero belief yeah. in himself. Yeah. Zero. I, it's, it's, a, it's a constant man, battle. This man will qualify pole in a race and be like, man, I missed it. Like, I suck, dude. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. crazy. You're a t- 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 faster than me. <laughs> and, and you're complaining and you missed the line. I'm like, I know, dude, I know. this guy. I know. Yeah, but it, it's a constant battle. In was, my head, there, you know? was there was there ever a moment that, like, you know, maybe you – hung with somebody that you had always looked up to or you beat someone that you had always uh, or even winning the pro qual at cedar against me. yeah like what yeah. was was well, there no, ever a us. moment yeah early on? Well, like in the beginning in the beginning of when i joined d1rt like when i joined with paul and dusty like paul was like the best guy like out of our little group so when i started like actually running with him or even fucking outrunning him at times i'm like oh, i might be all right and then fucking i joined my first ever like competitive league i guess you can call it it was monsters of dirt i'm sure you've heard yep. of it yep. yeah knows monsters of dirt. and like and like i didn't do good but i didn't do bad either so i was like i'm, I'm all right probably and then i joined fucking world of thunder and like i used like I got a couple top fives, top tens. I'm like, well, fuck, this is the best of the best. So it's like, I might be fucking able to compete, but yeah, I don't know. That's, I guess you can say that's when I kind of got that feeling. Like and you've, I had, you've had do. some really solid runs. Like you're not yeah. like, it, it's not like, like, yeah, you finished 12th in the points, but you kind of yeah. had enough. Uh, yeah, this year was finished, bad. And you had, a, you had, a, and you had a good year last year, your, your rookie year. Um, yeah. A lot of top threes, top fives. And you're fast. You're really, really good. I, I could, I tell people, I told people in that hundred lapper. If you like, if I think like, if you guys were just a little bit better earlier. Yeah. And, you talking about the hundred lapper at like, Eldora it, and like, NWR? When, when you're when Dez isn't no at the Charlotte frenzy. The, the frenzy. frenzy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like his when Dez is in clean air when he gets like it's like it needed to get the track needed to wait a little bit longer for you. I think. Yeah. And, oh yeah, the frenzy all was all fucked up. Can, can we and, talk about that? But like, that's in clean air. I mean, you won. Well, I lucked out. If it you wasn't, did, if it wasn't, if it wasn't for James and Blake getting into it, I would have just finished third. But still, you ran third. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's like, in, a, in a huge he, race. Like, yeah. still against like the top. Like, I, don't know, I still think. 
I, I, I think, like, whenever you're on it and you're not, like, mental and you just race by yourself, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I would consider you one of the top. And whenever you're on it, you're one of the top five guys pretty easily, if I not agree, one of yeah. the best. And so, uh, I, and I've seen it, and I know you have it. You just got to yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And it's hard, though. Man. Yeah, like, it, this it, it's, it's a mental easy. game. It, it's a mental game for because, me, for sure. And, like, and I, was t- I think I talked to Nathan about it this weekend, actually, like how iRacing, like, it's just – so much like harder than i like i feel like i like the real racing it's not as hard as the irl racing because it's so right. tough man right. it's so right. tough and there's so much pressure and i know you like you kind of feel pressure whenever you like <laughs> like starting on yeah. the pole the frenzy dude like oh, i was freaking the fuck out yeah that was actually only, one of yeah. my questions was, i know what yeah. i would feel like like yeah. i would be nervous because like i would just like you like because you're thinking about man i got this what's the pace i gotta set what's right. and I, yeah like that like just and just being able to set on the pole like just to say that you right. started pole in the fall frenzy on i racing like i know like a lot of people we're still getting some respect on the i racing side of things right. but like that's you know what i mean like you started a pole of one of the biggest crown jewels how how and you ran up right. front and led and you led laps and how nervous were you whenever you know you were about to fire <laughs> off there I mean, because I know well, we know how first, nervous you get. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was fucking freaking out. Like I was pacing around. I can the imagine all house. day, all day. Yeah. This man you, was you going. Can, yeah. You can ask anyone on the team. Like I was freaking the fuck out in group chat, <laughs> and then I was pacing around the fucking house and shit. Like I don't know. I would just have like one moment. I'm like, dude, you can do this. Like you're a hell of a driver. You can fucking do this. And then the other moment, I'm like, dude, you fucking suck. You better not even load <laughs> into the fucking race. Like, dude, I'm like, I'm freaking out. So you but, have that nervousness right before. Did yeah. it, did it go well, away no, once you started? No, no, no. Even when we, even when we took the green flag, I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Like, this is happening. And I'm like, dude. But, and I, I can just see Evan and Blake just like closing in on me. I'm like, fuck, dude. And but, you know, like. Like, yeah. I, I would be nervous, too, in that instance, because you've got, like, Evan and Blake behind you. You're leading yeah. this race. Like, you know, like, you have to be absolutely perfect, 100%. Right, right. right. There is no if ands, or buts, yeah. and they're still probably going to get by you at the end of the day. Like, it's right. just, like, right. they're really hard, and they're really hard to beat. Um, yeah. But still, um, still a solid run, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, and we'll take it. That's, that's one thing I was going to bring up is, like, you finished fourth in that race, but right. Grant, granted, some stuff that happened in your yeah, race. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like hey, he was, he was, uh, he was, say was given to you. Yeah, he it was, was tenth on like it at some white point flag. In, on in the white. Yeah, two, I was tenth in one and two. Yeah. You were tenth. So on that final restart, hey. back it up. You know, two laps. You know, to the final restart. What are you thinking whenever you're sitting? I think seventh on the final restart. Are you just kind of like I'm trying to hold on I'm, or what? yeah, like I was just trying to tuck in like wherever the line was because we were pretty much rubber racing so i was yeah. like just tuck in we can't lose any more fucking spots so i'm like i'm already back too many and just hang on and then i got stuck on the bottom there because mm-hmm. i think i was trying to i was trying to dodge whatever was going on i think it was rumsey and evan at that yeah. moment and then i seen like two three other fucking cars coming out of two like on my outside i'm like we're just gonna hold the bottom and fucking <laughs> hope a miracle happens and what do you know they all fucking wreck on the outside (laughs) of me and i'm like oh we got the fucking spots back baby and i was like fuck so you you didn't cross the what are your thoughts whenever you cross the line fourth after like you cross the line you're like holy shit that yeah when i seen yeah when i seen fourth i'm like dude this is fucking insane but dude imagine all the the bacon kings and all the uh, oh dude it's over we were eating great that night dude. (laughs) um but no like like I said, I wasn't a fourth place car. I mean, I got that handed to me, but hey, hey oh well. I'd rather hey, be lucky well, than good any day. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Right. I'd rather, hey, I'd rather be lucky and good. Hey, yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. But no, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy it's over with, honestly. Yeah. Like, you just live and learn, move on to the yeah, next. That's all, that's all we know? can do. Yeah. But, so the, what did the, fourth hey. place net you? How much did that win you? I didn't even look. Uh, I think it was like 650. Hey, not bad. Yeah. Hey, but yeah, not not bad. Off a sixty dollar entry, I'll take it. That's a yeah. good week's worth of Dez food. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what is exactly. what does Dez eat? 
let the, let Dude, honestly, know. here here lately, <laughs> I've been hooked on. Well, you know, the obvious answer is chicken, but you know, <laughs> but no, but here lately, I've been hooked on uh, In and Out, In and Out burger. Huh? Yeah, I've only I, had In and Out a eat, few times. Dude, I can eat that shit all week, every day. Like, in and Out, huh? Are you an animal fry like, guy or what? Nah, not regular, regular. Just regular. get a double, some fries, and a shake. I, dude, don't roast me for this. I don't think I've ever had In and Out, but I'm in Alabama, and I don't you're, think there is you're, any. You're, you're missing out. I There's mean, a water burger in Alabama, but it's not yeah, the same. I mean, my teammates might not agree, but I mean, I, I feel like it's pretty fucking good. In and Out but, is pretty decent. I will yeah. give it that. Yeah, um, yeah. I think I think there's some better options. Yeah, there is for sure. But and now it's not bad. Exactly. So non animal style fries though is a little bold. Yeah, I don't know. I just never really cared for fries like that, so I just go with plain or whatever. Well, but. So back to <laughs> i racing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just just a short little question here. What's what's with the number eighty two? What where did that come from? Oh, uh, my grandpa and uncle, when they used to race back in the day, they were 82. So I was like, you know what? I'll just keep, keep, I'll keep, keep that number alive on the virtual side, you know? So I was like, fuck yeah. it, I'll be 82. Because oh, first, you know, I, was, just... I was seven at first. Seven. And, was, and where did that, that come from? Random, that was random? Just ran, random number. Pick like, a number. Like, we'll be number seven. Random number between one and a million, and it ended up being seven. Yeah, yeah, pretty That's much. Seven. Out yeah, of one in a million. But eighty two has some meat into it, so yeah. Yeah. See yeah, yeah. see that's what kinda of, see like Nathan just picked five because that's as high as you can count. And I picked zero <laughs> because I can't count. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> Yeah. Hey, fuck it. Oh, <laughs> you can funny. count apparently pretty high. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. This um, guy can get all the way up to eighty two, which is pretty yeah. impressive. That's as high yeah. as I've ever seen. Honestly. Yeah. You know, I Chase Hart has got ninety nine. Well, Blake Brent, Julius has 120, Evans. 127. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, Blake. Evans is 101. Who's got yeah, the highest Blake. number? Let me think. Hayden Dolson? Isn't he 327. Three yeah, 327. Uh, uh, chat, somebody let me know. I think that might be the highest in existence, actually. Huh. I was um, going to say Tucker Elkins. Oh, yeah, Fox. Dylan Fox, Fox is has 99. Oh, yeah, Fox. Fox is 99. Oh, Foxy. How do I not think of that? What the uh, that's your own You're fucking literally day, teammates. Bro. I know, I know, I know. I know. Dude, bad, hey, bad. is DLRT going to support Dylan Fox's Wi-Fi connection? Yeah, Dude. Jesus. Can we help this guy uh, out hey, some? We, we, like, we what, what happened? Dude, It's it was his VR. His what VR was taking a shit, so. That's what VR did I don't know. Yeah. Dude, I have no clue, to be honest. You uh, think I, think it's, I think it's a reverb something. V uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Reverb G2, G2 yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, something like that. I'm curious, Des. You mm. never really run officials, but you're on a lot. What what's what's what is that? What, why do you hardly ever run officials? I'm just curious. Oh I don't I think I worry too much about my safety rating and all that shit. So cuz I I gave it a try hey. one of the weeks. It's bad if you get two yeah. weeks. It's serious. Yeah. Dude, it's it's retarded. If... Oh, but yeah, it's, it's stupid. Though. Yeah, yeah, it's stupid. It, people, oh. people might not understand that. With the pro license, it's so freaking uh, tough. Yeah, yeah. Like a 2x yeah. takes you down like almost a whole point. Like it's yeah. almost ridiculous. It's, well, no, I, it's, I, 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 tried, I tried one of the weeks. It was at Fairbury. I don't know why I tried it. But That's... yeah, we, we went to Fairbury and lost like... 1.5 safety dude i was like oh yeah we're we're, we're I'm not tired yeah i'm like <laughs> we're, we're not we're not doing this shit dude i'm not gonna demote you know like so i don't know i just bullshit i'll, I'll have my eye racing up like on the background but i'm never really he's not it. grinding well, like you think he's yeah grinding, yeah like, I, I, don't, I don't i don't i don't race as much as you know people you know i racing, racing may be the tab open that says on discord but he's not right. grinding he's right. just right. he's watching yeah we're, we're you not do watch racing. a lot of races over there yeah yeah i do yeah so you I do mean, film study spectating races yeah, yeah. I do a i'm lot more of, of a i'm more of a watch and learn kind of guy you know that's what i've see, always see told what, people see like. see see what everyone else is doing and then try to mimic it you know that's, that was kind of fi fine where they're messing up and yeah right right where i can you can be better 
but I exactly. think like literally I've always ran officials. Like I've ran, I, I run a lot of officials. Um, yeah. and so whenever pro qualifiers last year came around and you're, you know, running really well, I'm like, I don't, I've never even seen this guy. And right. you know, he's, he's really good. It kind of changed my perception of like, you know, people that, I think maybe mainly it was because I wasn't as ingrained in the community and I didn't know everyone. So like there would be people that just don't run officials that are really good. And you were one of them, but you were in leagues before, like yeah, even, le- like, leagues and series. hosted right. like just and, officials. Like, I knew is what you from mainly there. I, I ran. Right. That's mainly and, what I run as officials, just because of my schedule. But, but the pro, I'd say like in my eyes, pro calls where you started to really shine. You were running pretty good there in World of Thunder before that. Yeah, and you had I think you had like a top five there like that season before pro call worth world yeah. of thunder um and then it was kind of like okay he's there and then pro call came around and bam this guy's ready to roll you won and at cedar lake won cedar so we got more in common than our skin color and we've also I won know. a top split I pro know. qualifier at cedar lake <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> um, oh yeah that man. was crazy that was a Dude, you know, at the time... That was probably one of my biggest wins. Well, no, if we're going to count that prelim at the fall. True, prelim, true. That, that's probably my biggest win. But, but what, like, winning it legitly, yeah, probably that pro call win. Dude, so at the time, me and Kiefer were teammates, uh, Rip, but... Uh, <laughs> RIP. I was... Yeah. I think I was in that race. I was in that race. Um, I had made the feature, but I was in the back. But Kiefer is running second kind of catching you there at the end oh yeah quick. What he, he was he was gonna catch me i'm curious I was, what because... do you mean he was gonna catch you i pushed you across the line i'm pretty sure <laughs> yeah yeah i no, think yeah, i did were, i think you, you were on me. but i was coming but you were and you were just missing up like a little right. bit like just in the, hey but you still got it done man like yeah, that's yeah. tough right I'm through the wild. middle this man ran the bottom the whole race at cedar lake yeah, um, I, I, I think I didn't go up top once. I don't know, like still, and you don't, it, maybe it, one. It, I don't know. And like the, I always think, like the D, like D Will and those guys, like you guys, always got a good bottom set, and mm-hmm. yeah. you, you're pretty good on a cushion, um, right. but you can get the job done on the bottom. And uh, right, right, right. Well, I, feel I, I like, used, I I like used you, to be good on a cushion. Used to I, be. Well, this new build's tough, man. You yeah, gotta drive dude, it a this, little different. Yeah, th- this new build, he, you uh, gotta dri- he sure you, fucked you me either, all up. You either can get up, cowboy it, or you have to like kind of like slide into roll it. into it. Yeah, right, like, right, yeah. Ooh, like but three if and you four don't, in Eldora, that's like what you have to do now. Right. You have to yeah, slide three and four, into you it. slide into it, or one and two, you can just like back one into and it two. And just, right. I, I well, I in don't know some races, one and two, I run all the way up on the wall. Yeah, I was. That was crazy. Hey, NWRA was a fun league. Yeah, but fun like league. Eldor there at the center. Like, I don't know. I, I had fun for 88 laps, but I was buzzing yeah. the top, man. That was. I, uh, I like that race. Back to, the, uh, Shut up. back to the pro qualifier race, though, real quick. I'm just curious because, you know, I won the exact same race just a year later. And whenever it was about 10 to go and I'm leading, I, I couldn't even hardly see straight. Like, I, I yeah. it was like an out of body experience. What was it like for you whenever in the same situation just a year prior like i mean mainly it was my foot shaking <laughs> but uh, other than my foot shaking i mean i was pretty chilled pretty relaxed i mean i was obviously like freaking out a little bit so it always fucking catching me I'm, i can't even hit the fucking line you know <laughs> and then while my foot's fucking shaking on top of it so it's like but you did but, have a two second lead prior yeah right so right. like so oh, I had a I had a little bit of breathing room, but there at the end, like you were fucking, like you said, you were pushing me. So but what was the? I feel, and I feel like the reason, the reasoning, partially one, I was you were missing the line of one and two. If right. we go back and look at it, a little bit, which was at the end of the day, not the big deal. But you had lap cars in front of you. Yeah. And yeah. you were you I were kind of like one of them. Yeah. Okay. No, you didn't make the race. <laughs> I did make the race. <sighs> I'm kidding. Fuck you. I'm kidding. Um. But yeah, no, you were just, and I feel like that's where like you and Nathan are. I feel like are in the same mindset when it comes to sometimes and those things where you guys are a little bit too nice. Yeah. And you guys need to throw your elbows some more. Except yeah. whenever you do throw your elbows, it's your teammates. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no, they they always tell me, yeah, I do need to be more aggressive. But it's like, 
I can't, it's hard. It's hard. I can't be aggressive and clean at the same time. It's hard. Like, it yeah. really is. Like, if I try like, to give him a little nudge, I'm going to end up either wrecking him or fucking me over. Yeah, 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 so like, that's oh, what I always say. Like, I, like, people are yeah. like, why don't you feed him? And I'm like, if I feed him, I'm probably going to die. Like, that's just, I can't do it like other people can, where yeah. they feed him and they, you know, run away. And I, I just can't yeah, right. do it like that. I don't know. And I've learned how to do it now because I've just. You, it, I feel like it's something you have to. You ha, you almost have to know at times. Right. <laughs> uh, but it is hard to do it correctly without dying. I should yeah. say. Uh, but yeah, it is. I don't know. It, it's it's a it's a double edged sword because I used to kind of like be your guys' shoes, but now I feel like I'm more aggressive and I still have the same success as I did before whenever I was perfect you know what i mean yeah, so like i think yeah. at the end of the day it's the end of the day but um <laughs> i love that every time i love that every uh, time no, <laughs> no, <laughs> keeper was telling a story at friendsgiving saturday night and he kept saying at the end of the day and then like would go on like with whatever he was saying and every single time he would say at the end of the day i would say it's the end of the day like in, yeah. the, in the middle of his story he just kept hey. saying it I can't believe Irish Dirt Talk didn't take down that post because that did happen since the last podcast, I believe. And there's more. There's more. And it's not even racing related. Inspirational quotes. There's more. Yes, it is. It's inspirational, man. It's whatever. more than life. Uh, whatever. So, <laughs> what's uh, what's the best piece of it? We could all actually answer this one, actually. But we'll start with you, Des. What is the best piece of advice someone has given you to help you get better on iRacing? Like, what's one thing that has kind of stuck with you that you would say that? Uh, probably something that stuck with me is actually uh, probably from uh, Bocus. Uh, he told me, you know, like, just if you're ever behind someone, like the leader or whatever, like, just see where they're fucking up. And see where you're beating them, and yeah. you know, like just see it through. Yeah, like just, just watch it. He said you and... just got to be strategic with it, you know, and just yeah, set up your moves. It's true. Like, it, it, yeah, it's a, and a lot of it, I feel like a lot of like the competitive level, or like where we're at, because we're all fast. At the end of the yeah. day, in Thank clean you. air, we are all fast. Yeah, and almost like at, in the feature time at the beginning of the feature, I'm not saying all race. Granted, because there's, I think a lot of it's consistency, because a lot of this guy, it's we all all are fast. It's just who can be most consistent. But um, where are you going with this? I don't really know. <laughs> I Sometimes I'll just start a yeah, sentence yeah. and I don't even know where I'm gonna end it. It is. <laughs> I did this like six times. I did that like no, I didn't do that six times. I did that once on when I was down there this weekend. Well, what's your answer then, Kiefer? What is the best piece of advice someone has helped you know given you to to help you get better on iRacing? racing? Take your time. You ready for this? Oh boy. Focus telling me to be patient. That's probably it. Like that's it. Focus is obviously pretty patience. fucking good at giving patience. advice, yeah. bro. No, but yeah. I remember where I was going earlier, but like the scene it through, a lot of like what racing is like on the top level is like because we're all fast, is just like the race craft of it and how to outsmart and outmaneuver your opponent to put your car in position to not screw. To not screw them, but to upset their race car in such a way to where they can't cut down as fast or they can't cross over or slide you as soon. You know, like what I mean? Like, I feel like that's, and that's kind of like what Bocas was saying about like seeing it through is just a lot of it's just thinking about like how you're going to race and just trying to outsmart the driving techniques. And a lot of it's like that. And patience also goes along with that is just, it's also part of what you're saying about seeing it through. Not necessarily am I seeing it through all the time. It's just my mindset. I just need to not only think about it, but just to breathe, know that there's whatever, how many laps left, and then know when to pace, when to go, when to race, when to slow. You know, just kind of like I feel like that was like I'm, I still struggle with it, but I, it's it's one of those hard things. I feel like it's it's half of what you are doing, but – it's it's hard to do, man. It really is. Yeah, I think especially when you're you're following people, like on the El Dorado top, and you know you're a little faster, and you want to slide them, and you don't know when. Right. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I don't even know if I really have a good answer to the question, honestly. Like, 
it's there's so much advice that I've been given. Um, you know, obviously, uh, there's patience, uh, knowing when to be aggressive, uh, those kind of things. Maybe, maybe one thing that goes a little bit underrated is, uh, it's something that Colin told me, Bocas told me, um, before, uh, before a race that we did at Eldora a long time ago, a long time ago, uh, and I had made a lot of laps, like maybe a thousand in, in two days. Can't catch Daz doing that. And he's, he said, Hell no. you over, and I didn't run worth the shit. And he said, you over practiced. Like you got in your own head of what should happen and it didn't work out that way. Nothing went exactly how your practice did. And that's what screwed you. So now I kind of, you take it too, too far though. Don't even go there. What? You don't put any time in. I put a decent amount of time in. I don't put as how many much time, time in as some hey, people. Wait, 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 Des. What? How many laps did you put in for the fall frenzy for the hundred lapper? Uh, probably did like four hundred lap runs. Okay, it, that's. I feel it, like call, that's a decent amount. Day. That's you know a how, decent yeah. amount. You know how many laps you I put in? How many... What? You got, you, I want you to guess one. actually. Like one. What one hundred lap Li- run? No, 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 no. Literally, I one. think I, I think I made like fifteen laps of practice. Yeah, Jeez. Like I just did, don't like understand this, it, why I didn't run well, dude. Like it just blows my <laughs> mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it frustrates me. Oh, uh, I, but you know, you know the grind. The grind. The grind is real. Yeah, yeah. But like, but, yes, you uh, can over practice. Like sometimes I, I do whenever slack, you, though. whenever you do, department. like I I do it a lot, a lot. And I'll over practice, and you just overthink it is mm-hmm. what you're doing. That's what it and is. And sometimes you just gotta know the basics. And so now I've kind of like found. I feel like I found a middle, a medium way for myself. I feel like, well, now I can go into the race where I don't race the officials anymore, and I don't race a lot of the other races. But I can go in the leagues and kind of know what I well know like the line wise. But I know what I know from what I've my past experiences now. I can just go in and I can race kind of like off memory, and it yeah. seems to. What, what works pretty well. Blows my fucking mind is that sometimes it's like there's no like pattern to it. Sometimes I will practice literally none and run really well. And then sometimes I'll practice a decent amount and run really well. And sometimes I'll practice none and run, run, run like shit. And sometimes I'll practice a decent amount and run like shit. Like there's no fucking pattern. It blows my mind. That's how it is. So. Uh, I think, um, but but to get to like to get to where we are at, you have to grind. Yeah. Like to Even, get to this yeah, point, like that's you just gotta run laps. laps. Just get comfortable, honestly. That's yeah. really all it is. So, yeah. yeah, it's like this is like there's no replacement for seat time. Isn't that the phrase? Right. Um, yeah, yeah. I would I would probably say that you're underrated in a in a ble- in a, in a big block modified. Um, most people probably well, don't really don't understand, either. but you just won the, the, you know, big block modified points in NWRA. Um, how do you enjoy running those a lot? And like, how much practice do you put in on, in those? Because like, I don't, I don't really run them anymore. I used to run them a lot, but I feel like you're underrated, even though you just won a championship. I think just most people don't know that you're that good in them. Yeah. Well, I really don't run them a lot. And I got, honestly, I wasn't going to race the big blocks. I was just going to run supers. But uh, D Will forced me. Forced. He ended up, he, he ended up paying my way into the uh, big block. So, like, I, I, had no, I had no fucking choice but to run it. And Chance, Chance Carr, I yeah. mean, he, he would just have a set up each week. And, yeah. like, I would, like, practice maybe, like, 50 laps just to get used to the setup, just to know what it's going to do. Yep. I mean, I, I know that's not enough laps, but still, that I mean, good enough. Good, good. It was good enough for me. So. In a big block modified, I'm the same way, man. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. like whenever Bocus was building sets, like in the last build, and we were do, we had a lot of big, a lot of things going on the big block side of things. I'd get in, make about 30 laps. I'm like, all right, yeah. it drives good. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I usually so. change. I'd usually free it up for like focus. I'd free up one thing. I'd change one thing on every setup that he built. I'd put a left for spacer on it or something. I think is what it was because it was too yeah. fucking tight. And then it was great, yeah. and I loved it. And well, honestly, I, I once I once focus sent me a set of my big blocks. I ran the same set everywhere because like I liked the way it drove. That's yeah. how I am. But now I haven't I haven't really experienced the big blocks at all, really, in this build. But you were good in the last build them last two. You were yeah, you, yeah. you had it's not like new news for you being good in a big block, you know what I mean? But I think it's underrated. Yeah. Like I right. feel like people look at, you know, Dez as, you know, good in really good in a well, late the, model and they well, I think know. I think that's because they just look at Dez as good. You know, like Dez is good. Des is good. Sometimes. Des, like you're Des good. the best. Good. You're pretty good. Like, like, Des, yeah. Des the best, you know? Well, like, even, like, whenever I used to race, like, a, like more officials or, like, I joined, like, a big block official. Like, I felt like I wasn't a big block guy, but, like, I joined the official and, like, you're number one in the server or whatever. Like, you're expected to win. Right. Even though you don't race them, like, you're still expected to win. And that's kind of how I look at it in a way not i kind of see how he gets it kind of gets blown under the water but it's kind of also expected because we're blown under you know, the water right huh you know i'm mean? blown under the water what are we talking about no blown under water so <clears throat> is that not a phrase i don't sure i don't it's blown out of the water or blown out of proportion no or water under the bridge i don't know what the fuck you were trying to say there but no nope. um i think this is a a good group question what's the uh the most fun race you can remember running like what's the most fun that you've had in a race that you can remember i'll let Kiefer answer this one first wow really it's, it's not fun, racist though? or anything i'm just i'm i just wanted to go with <laughs> Kiefer first this time um you know <laughs> i had a lot of bangers honestly and it's probably the race i lost and it was with Evan C at those. World of, Th yeah, it was with Evan C at World of Thunder. And whenever I lost by like point zero zero eight or something dumb. What was the? But what it was, was like the car track? Bet. I thought it was, it was supers at Knoxville. Uh, I don't think I ever saw that. Me, one. me, and Evan threw sliders for the lead. No shit for fifteen laps at least. I, I he was throwing them in one and two. And I was throwing him in three and four. And then with four to go, we switched up. And I was throwing him in one and two. And he was throwing him in three and four, which screwed me up because I was doing – I was having to cut down on the front straightaway where he would get on top of me and he got the edge on it and he barely beat me on the last – I got a good run on the last one, but I just couldn't get it done. But Those are always – probably fun. one of my funnest races because it was just – like me and you know, like you and Evan C, right? Like throwing sliders at Knoxville, pulling away from the field, checked out. Like we were gone, dude. It was and it was a fun race. Like we were just throwing sliders. And this was right after I just beat him, actually, in UMPs at Knoxville. In uh, and NWRA. NWRA. Yep, I beat him before that, but like that wasn't. I and I, then I won a pretty big race at Knoxville in supers one time. Cody Sieber had a big money race, um, but. I'd say I still think it's the one I lost against World of Thunder against Evan C there. Like I just that was a good race. What about I had you, fun. Des? Um, uh, shit, I'm still thinking. Uh, <laughs> honestly, probably last year, last year's Pro Series, the round ten race at Charlotte. Cause me and D you're a big Charlotte fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I think me and D will started front row. I think you did. Yeah, we, we yeah we were front row. I know you were pole. And then, no, I was outside pole. I think. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was pole. He was pole. He was pole. <laughs> you just said and, he, uh, he was pole. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, was front yeah, row. Yeah, I knew that. Good. Uh, and I think we threw like sliders for like the first five laps, and then he ended up clearing me, and uh, you know, he went on about his way and shit. And uh, me and Jaeger threw like sliders for like fucking. 15 20 laps do like half the race we were just throwing sliders for a second and then eden's got in the mix and yeah i remember we that having, yeah i remember we, we eden like getting a, in the mix yeah, there yeah we were having like a three car fucking battle for a second and it was it was fun like even though like 
we ended up making contact and I got fucked. Like it was still a fun race. And I ended it out with like fifth, maybe. I think yeah. I finished fifth, yeah. So top five in the season last year. So yeah, that was probably my funnest race, to be honest. Yeah. I think my yeah, funnest You don't have to win them, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean I was fine with a top five, you know. I was happy. But... Yeah, especially in pro series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my funnest race would probably be a race that I ran against Jesse Enderkin in fixed pros at Lernerville. It's actually a video on YouTube. Uh, and me and him traded sliders for, I would say, 20 of the 30 laps. And we traded sliders the last 15 laps, I know for sure. And it was kind of a situation like you were talking about, Kiefer, where I was sliding him in three and four, and I would get the run to the line. So I was leading almost every single lap, and then he'd slide me um, yeah. in one and two. And yep. it was funny because if you go back and, and watch the video, he um, he was commentating like he's being entertaining and shit and, you know, acting goofy, you know, commentating all the sliders. And then with about three to go, he kind of fades that off and he starts really yeah, focusing to get focusing. the win. And then he does like what you said, where in one and two, he looks like he's going to slide me, but he runs up to my outside so that he can throw the slider in three and four. And I was like, no, we ain't doing that shit. So the next lap on the white flag, I do that shit. Slide up next to him in one and two, throw the slider in three and four. I beat him to the line by like, a hundredth of a second. It was one of the most fun races I've I've ever ran, um, and it's documented yeah, on YouTube. You just which had is a, good. You had to pick one. Yeah, you won, didn't you? Well, I mean, y'all wow. obviously don't win races. I mean, like, yeah, y'all talking about all the hey, funnest one races of the you've ran. One of the tonight was when are you gonna win a race? Ooh, yeah, man. I'm still wondering myself. No, no, you like. Like I haven't won a race in a long time either, yeah, man. Yeah, well, like, it's this been a minute, like we've been in our struggle bus, all right. Just yeah, calm well, down. Yeah, th it. this this new build kind of has me fucked up a little bit, man. It's like yeah. I gotta I gotta relearn how to race again on this new build. Kinda, so it's yeah. like I don't know. We're we're getting there, but you know, it's a grind. Yeah. I think it Just took me more, a while to get adjusted to it. Like a long time yeah. to get adjusted to it, and I think the update I mean, in uh like before the Lincoln race during the pro series, like that update that we had, yeah, that really helped me because it right. like it, I could see where the shit was on the track, like I knew where to go. Whenever, finally. You could, whenever it was actually showing slick spots, yeah, like it yeah. it made that, it a lot better. That and they reduced the tire wear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Which, I, I, I think I, they I, went I, too I, far. Oh. I struggle with the tire wear, I'm not going to lie. So that's what helped me. A little too throttle heavy? A little bit, man. And it's hard. Bit. It's hard I, to be patient. It, and that's what I said, like, what Bocas taught me was, Come like, the patience, yeah. which is Bocus hard. Bocas has like, told us about this. I know, right? I know, I know. But, but Bocas doesn't even listen to himself. No, you know he what doesn't. I mean? That's yeah. what the fucked up part is. <laughs> It's a great. It's sometimes you know, some of the best coaches aren't good at what they you know say. You know, like he's a great mentor. A man does not listen to his own quotes. You know, oh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> the other night he went into like NWRA like full like he's like I'm gonna kill someone. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you are so, because you haven't made a lap in <laughs> two months. So I'm curious, does you know me and Kiefer were in that that D1RT group chat for a little while. Um, and you would always post the randomest shit. Are you still doing <laughs> that? Is. Are you oh, still yeah. doing that? Oh yeah. Would you? Yeah. How would he and, not? And and we found Has more the picture shit. changed. Hmm? The pictures changed. Oh yeah. We we got uh, some we don't, more. We don't have Petey Green anymore. He pops up occasionally. <laughs> okay. uh, I'll, I'll, I'll post Green. him here and there. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> dude, we we've added so much more shit to my arsenal, dude. Like it's just random every day. It's dude, hella that's funny. <laughs> Des would like wake up at like eleven our time because he's out in California, <laughs> and then he'd Normal just say time. he'd say, "Watch him, look out!" And then he'd like yeah, fucking yeah, post yeah, like yeah. a whole paragraph, like shit. eight paragraphs. <laughs> he texts eight dude. paragraphs and for I one other person gets I was one like, word in. I was like, "Is it? Is it?" Uh, is it copy and paste? And he was like, no, I type this shit out every day, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. No way. Yeah. d will thinks the same shit. Like, I just copy and paste it from, like, yesterday. I'm like, no, I take the time and fucking type this out 
You every th- morning, get, dude. What is it? Is like you type something out like it's watching. Yeah, why? Oh, watch yeah, that, that, watching. That, you gotta get on that motherfucking thing yeah, like yeah, that yeah, right yeah. there. Get, you gotta get, gotta get that motherfucker wound up. <laughs> oh, dude, it's it's hilarious. Oh, it's dude. the fun. Like that was the best part of my day. Whenever I was in that group chat, I was reading that yeah, message yeah. from Des. Yeah, that's your lunch break. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Des's good morning text. <laughs> Hey, how to get the day started off right, man? Get hyped and shit. Hey, if there's uh, one that, thing that was, that was my if, way. If there's one thing that I did teach Des, it's a good Burger King order. Yeah, I still get that till this day. But what the one it? thing at Burger King that's not good. What's the one thing at Burger King you don't like? I know what he's gonna say. What? What? I hate what, the fries, what? dude. The fries are terrible. Yeah. Nah, bruh, dude. No, 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 no. The, fries, no. the fries are all right. It's the all fries right. are good. No. no. I uh, I, I send they're, Kiefer they're like right. a daily. I send a uh, message to Kiefer every single day. It's like daily reminder that BK fries are supreme because I I like them personally. Supreme. He thinks they're supreme. Like top yeah, I don't, dog. Yeah, I don't know about all that. Like, they're, yeah. they're 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 not three. nasty, but they're, they're not three. like hella good either. They're top they're three. Not and they're top not three. three. They're mid. Oh, they're mid. Wow. They're mid. They're mid. Wow. So what what is what has been added to the arsenal then there Des? Not that I'm gonna try to steal what? it, but you said that you added dude, some to the arsenal. What's dude? Fuck, we got this SpongeBob fucking. Oh, Nathan's Mom. gonna be bricked up. Then, over I, love I got a SpongeBob meme. Yeah, I got fucking. Uh, there, I got this pet rat now. His name's Big Pete. He's Big in a fucking. Pete. It, it, yeah, it's his rat with his like hands up in a fucking tuxedo. It's hella funny, dude. <laughs> bunch of speed, bunch of speed shit, pinky, fucking pinky, you name it, dude. pinky, Charleston yeah, Darby, White. Darby was telling me about pinky. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I, I got a bunch of shit. No, no sexy red. Nah, 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 nah. No. We don't got none of that. Nah. Wow. I mean, I'm, I'm sure soon, sure soon. But <laughs> not, not right now, though. I'm, uh, sure, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, I bet Nick, Nick's got it in the arsenal. He's yeah. he's a Saint, he's kind of close to St. Louis. I bet he's a ski fan. Uh, yeah. Ski. But well, no, I got shit. most of my shit from uh, Mario. Cause dude. me and Mar- me and uh, Mario go back and forth with me. Mario Mario is funny, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, so I there's one thing I've been meaning to ask. I can't believe I I missed it. What do you do outside of iRacing? racing? I mean, we all have our hobbies. Uh, me and Kiefer play. Fortnite or Rocket League, you know, uh, keep, uh, you know all that shit. Like, what do you do outside of iRacing? racing? Honestly, yeah, pretty much play fucking Fortnite, Rocket League. I got into Siege recently. Oh, uh, buddy, what do you know about Jinxie? Oh, dude, Jinxie, dude, I Jinxie, <laughs> dude, he's, mid range, mid range. I watch the Jinxie, and uh, I think I forget what her name is, but like they're trying to set him up on a date or whatever. Oh, Cassie. Cassie, yeah, 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 so I, mean, I don't, a, I don't, gamer at I don't do huh? much. Yeah, I don't. I don't do much else. You know, I don't like go outside, all that dumb <laughs> shit. You know, you, you don't. You know, working on your tan? Huh? I know, dude. I'm, I'm losing my stain. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting pale, man. I'm losing my stain. Like I, I gotta get a little bit of sun on me. I gotta get a little bit of sun. <laughs> losing on me, my man. stain. That's the funniest I'm losing, shit. I'm losing my half blackness, man. <laughs> Oh my see, god, that see, is I was, too I, funny. We, I thought you were Hispanic this whole time. Yeah, dude, I look Mexican, dude. That's what. That, yeah, that's what. I'm, a, I'm pretty I'm sure. African. I'm pretty sure that you <laughs> said you were, you were trying to convince someone of your Hispanic one day. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. A great time. Oh, dude, it was. Funny, I love you, something that I miss is whenever you would. Uh, like we'd be in Discord together, and you'd leave for a, a short period of time, and whenever you'd come back, you'd be like, "All right, I'm black." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I still do it. I still. Do I don't it. doubt it. I don't doubt it. It's yeah, like bro, no, nothing's changed, bro. Yeah, the same, man. nothing. Nothing There's leaves. You just add more to the arsenal. That's all. Yeah, exactly. There's one thing to learn about Des is that <laughs> Des is Des is funny. 
Oh, yeah, he's, until he's, until you put a camera he's, on me. He's like a little kid. Him. He's like a little <laughs> yeah. kid. You can't contain him. Like yeah. it's just wild. But yeah, once you put a camera on me and interview me, then I like hush up a little bit, a little fucking shy. Oh, but, so I, yeah. by the way, I meant to mention you have the the Davenport shirt on. Are you yeah, still? This, this is my hero. This is my hero. Are you still obsessed with the Dirty Dollars? Uh, you know, Flow Racing. Yeah, we uh, we watch it every special. day. <laughs> at Thirty dollars, at, at least. Like, well, I try I to. I couldn't do... tell you how many times I've been sent the dirty dollars link. Like, <laughs> oh, it was dude. on my phone, dude. It's like yeah. Siri was suggesting it. Like, please just fucking watch this. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. I'll send it the trailer. Fucking everything, dude. <laughs> that was that but was no, the funny thing. No, honestly, I like like yeah, I'm a fan of Davenport, but I I exaggerate it to fuck with my buddy uh, Nick Cooper. Cause yeah. he's he's pretty obsessed with the uh, the nine S Matt Shepard, mm. so I give him shit and like just try to fucking make fun of him by being obsessed with Davenport. They but I, I am a I, I am a Davenport yeah yeah right. but I am a Davenport fan but I I exaggerate it for shits and giggles. So yeah. I, actually, good, just curious, who is who do you usually root for, uh, or is Davenport kind of like your guy? Uh, if it's not Davenport, I'll, I'll root for Huddy. I like I, I like I like I like Hudson. So, yeah. but mainly mainly just those two or fucking whoever's winning. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> Dav- 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 yeah, yeah, no, nah, yeah, yeah. I don't go for a 20 RT man. You don't like the 20 but, RT? Hey, but hey, he's on a roll, man. He's man. a big Bobby Pierce fan. Who me? You. Nah, 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 nah. No 32. No. We, no, we we, we could root for Bobby here and there. I mean, I, I I do I did just buy a Bobby Pierce shirt. Oh, let's see. Yeah, so yeah. why'd you buy the shirt? I, I like I like I like the colors on it. Ah, it was like, yeah. It was it was like pink, neon, and like it was it was it was some crazy shit. So I got yeah. it. So so is that D one R T Longhorn or is that Rocket? Yeah, what are mm-hmm. we what are we working with? You got it. Is you guys, is, is D one R T? You guys working with Rockets or Longhorns over there? Uh probably Longhorns. Yeah, you know, we we, yeah. we got a couple Team Zero cars too. Yeah, ma- ma- mainly Longhorn. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. But see, I, yeah. I I st- I stick in the I stick in the ze- the Team Zero car. Yeah, Nathan, yeah, Nathan, yeah. Nathan Nathan likes to run the Longhorn. Well, I I've been in them all. Dude. I mean, like yeah. I've, I've been in a Longhorn, Team Zero, a Rocket, a fucking Capital, <laughs> fucking I don't even know what's next. I've Black been Diamond, all. hello. Yeah. Oh yeah, Black yeah. Diamond. Come on now. Yep. So. Yeah, I don't know. We're, we're we like the Longhorn. We've been yeah. having some luck in the Longhorn, so that's good. Hey, and, and, and it and it, it it's it's set, it started pull for the fall frenzy. So yeah, yeah, that's what Longhorn's I'm saying. Been rolling because I told Darby like, hey, put put bloomer lights on my current one, and he's like, nah, you suck in a Team Zero. He's like, you've been having better luck in the Longhorn. I'm like, yeah, you're right. You're right. We'll, <laughs> we'll just we'll just stick in the Longhorn. Fuck it. Aaron, uh, Aaron Watson. Uh, you remember Aaron from Apex, yeah, maybe? Yeah. He yeah, uh, yeah, he just cheered a thousand bits, said, my brother. I I, oh, yeah. I don't want to make brother, any assumptions man. here, but I think he's talking to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I, yeah. I miss you, Aaron. I miss you, my brother. My brother. My brother. Oh, man. So uh, one last question that I have, and it's another group question. Um, what is, I think, what is the, the most underrated track on iRacing on on dirt like what's the track that i you think gets too much hate and and we can we can be uh car track specific you know what i mean like you can say this track but it's got to be this car you know what i mean and i'll let okay, I'm, 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 I'm gonna let, i'm gonna let des go first this time just to right. balance it back out i say the new bristol what like yeah, the new Bristol's pretty fucking racy. I mean, I haven't raced on it this like current build, yeah. but old build, I, I liked it. It was pretty racy once they came out with the new version of it. So like the tw- like really the twenty. Yeah. Uh, that's a bold statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do that's actually that. a really bold statement yeah, yeah. because I ran one race there and it was Wotel. Um, uh, I think it was Wotel, and it was horrible in my opinion, but. Hey, yeah. that's 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 what the point of this is. Underrated. It's kind of your, I guess, unpopular opinion. So, you say yeah. Bristol. That's... How many races do you ever race at Bristol? Though? Like with the track worked in all the way, and like you know, fuck, probably like 
Never. Five races. Yeah, five, like, six very races. Yeah. To be yeah. fair, yeah, no, not, not many, no one ever not goes many. there. To be fair. Yeah. 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 Um, What's your answer, Nathan? Kiefer? You want me to go? You ready no, for this? You already know my answer. Uh, you know my answer. I don't know if this one's going to be underrated, but you can say it. Kokomo. <laughs> oh, you like you like Kokomo. Kokomo. Okay. Kokomo. Des does not like Kokomo. Nathan. Oh no, the spring fling wasn't bad. I guess no, it wasn't. It but wasn't I love Kokomo. Bad. Like everyone says, like the guy I hate Kokomo in a way, but like yeah. Nathan likes it. I do like Kokomo. Uh, but I like, man, I don't know. Like I love Kokomo, especially when you can race bottom and the top there, and it's. It's super wide. You can throw a halate. You can race. Like, I have video on my phone of us. I have a video of, on my phone from the VLR Pro Late Model Series. And I, we were six wide for third at Kokomo. <laughs> six That's the wide. Thing about Kokomo I was on the get. very bottom. It went, it went me, Bergeron, Devin Morgan. Uh, and that was like the bottom three. And there was uh, Tomasi was above him. And then there was two. I forget the probably other. Probably Hayden Cardwell was probably all the way at the top. He wasn't guess. in that series. Uh, he was, but I know Evan and Majulis were one two, and I was third. Rumsey was on the top. He was all the way on the top, and there was a guy in between that. But we entered one and two, and three and four, six wide. Jesus, fucking six wide salute, basically. And we we killed each other both corners. <laughs> Everybody, not killed each other, but the second time we entered six wide. I mean, we didn't. You know, we didn't last, yeah, but you know we I mean? you could do it theoretically if yeah, like, nobody makes a single fucking mistake. <laughs> well, I bumped, I bumped Bergeron and like I think Devin got tight or something, and he bumped someone above him, and they like it was just like a domino effect. Like once one person touched one, like everyone touched. But it's just such a wide track. Like, like it's a, it's a good track, and I there's really so like many it. cool things you can do like with racing, like with your race craft there. You know what I mean? Like just like you're cut down or whenever someone throws a slide or if you're going through one, like wherever you want to run the bottom or you go to the middle or you run like there's so many different possible exits and entries of that racetrack, which like intrigues me. Yeah, I, uh, I agree. I think Kokomo is uh, severely underrated. Um, my answer, I, I think my answer is probably going to be weed sport in, supers i think you know I've, I've ran a couple of the the pro late models there and it's been really boring one lane but i think in supers it is so much better um it's i think it's always been a great track you just have to be good at it and that's kind of the thing with people not liking tracks they're just not really that great at them uh wow. for, for the most part go, for the most part one. For the most part. Um, but I think Weed Sport is severely underrated in Supers. I think it's probably pretty popularly rated or um, pretty correctly rated in maybe Limiteds and Pros. But that's my answer for that one um, on the uh, the most underrated track. Des, I got one. I actually got one last question for you. Are you running the, gob Are you running the Gobbler? Uh, I'm debating about it. At first, I wasn't. And then... Uh... Johnny Rugg's been sweet talking me here. Yeah. So uh, Johnny Rugg, I, man. So if if Johnny Rugg signs up, then I'll probably sign up. We, we gotta, need Johnny Rugg back on the sim more. I haven't I seen know. Johnny Rugg yeah. where is, in where like is a minute. All, well, according to him, like at the end of this month, he'll be back because all mm. of his all of his IRL racing is wrapping up. So yeah, yeah. yeah well, I know that's the thing, man. No one's on. All yeah. That's the good thing about IRL, winter, though, fucking, is that. You know, winter you get all these guys that come back, you know, because they they yeah. have nothing else to do. So, yeah. so does does the fact that it's at Knoxville have any uh, weight on? Like, did that kind of make you? Oh, well, maybe I. Can. Oh, oh, it's it's in Knoxville. I didn't yeah. even see what track it was at. Yes, it is yeah. at Knoxville. Wait, well, yeah, I don't really like Knoxville, so. Uh, dude, uh, I don't Knoxville be signed not, up. Like, I just I, I haven't I haven't like had any good luck i guess at knoxville here lately well, so let's turn it around and win a win a thousand dollars yeah on, yeah yeah, yeah. Damn, damn. fuck it did you uh, run it last year i feel like you ran it last yeah, year yeah yeah i ran it, like dead last though uh, that's good dead but you last. made it <laughs> yeah but you made it yeah that's all yeah as long as we made it you know yeah no i got caught up in some shit and i think i had like nose damage 
and I, I can't that do was, this. That was it. I can't do the street stocks. Though. I hate street stocks. Yeah, I hate. Street it's stocks. too slow. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, Kiefer, you got anything else for Des? Not that he looks cute. Mm. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, oh, hey. Oh, Settle chill. down. Settle down. <laughs> All right. Well, Des, we appreciate you coming on. Uh, would you like to shout anyone out before we let you go? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you guys, obviously, for having me. And then, as a Peter Neuter would say, uh, thanks to my team, Dirt1RT, <laughs> you know, all them guys over there. And uh, the hood. The hood, <laughs> the hood's rooting hey, me we, on, man. We made it out, man. Yeah, the hood, the man. Hood. They, they, they trying to see a brother make it, man. I'm trying, I'm trying. So, shout out to Stockton. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hey, but, from Stockton, baby. Yeah, Stockton, yeah. motherfucker. But uh, that's right, that's right. But uh, <laughs> yeah, just everyone, you know, for putting this on. Thank yeah. you all. Absolutely, thank you so much for coming on. That's Desmond Busby, and we will be right back. All right, well, that was Desmond Busby, another great guest. Dude's funny as hell. I mean, we expected that. That was good. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. The sunglasses always seem to disappear after the guest leaves. I don't They've know if anyone else has They've been gone the whole time that. the guest was Wait, guest really? Was I yeah. was not... Paying attention, I yeah, guess. Clearly. Well, so we've got... Um, what do we have a coming new sub? up? We do have Clean a new sub. Um, what do, do, Is there anything to look forward to here? To here? We got next week um, the Sprint Car Pro Series. Let's see where they go. Uh, if I where can find the schedule. I'm going on vacation. Oh. You're going on vacation? I don't know. The podcast might be mobile. Oh, fuck. Are we going to have to take a week off? We might. We well, might have to take a week off. It's also Thanksgiving. Well, I was going to do a, a Thanksgiving special, man. Come on. We can do a Thanksgiving special. Well, we'll I, see. It might be later. to be there. It might be later. We might be able to do it, but it just might have to be like 30 minutes later, you know? Oh, just that, kidding. I'm not coming work. home Wednesday. Next race is at Weed Sport. That's the next mm. Sprint Car Pro Series race at Weed Sport. That'll that be a could fun be interesting. One to watch. Yeah, that'll be uh, interesting for sure. That's my my underrated track. I don't really know how it is in sprints. I don't really do. Uh, I don't really do. Dylan sprints. Yeager won the last Weed Sport race, and Dylan's not even in the Pro Series this year in sprints. Sad. Sad. He didn't even want to run the qualifiers. So, <clears throat> but got that coming up. Uh, we're going to be talking more on, if we have an episode next week, which I would like to, uh, we'll talk more about the gobbler, possibly have a special guest on to talk about that as well. Um, and other than that, I mean, I don't think there's really anything else to, to mention. Is it? I'll be at the, I'll be, if anybody's looking at the primetime game Sunday night, I will be there. Just look for the stash. Denver, Mile High I'll Stadium. Be, I'll be at the Mile High Stadium in Denver. Watching the Justin Jefferson hopefully cook up with Josh Dobbs, you know that'd be awesome. So I'm, I'm gonna rest. watch. I'm gonna watch um, the entire game just to hope to see you. Where are you gonna be sitting? I'm in the club section, so you probably won't see me. Club? What does that mean? Like the club level, like the suite level. You're in the. You're in a suite. Yeah. Dude, you just kind of know the people. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else. I don't know what else to <laughs> you say. You can't make this shit up. Bro. I don't know what else you to ain't say. Gonna believe, you ain't gonna believe like what I paid for them either. Like it's cheaper than what a regular ticket was. Yeah. Okay. I, just, I can't afford a regular ticket, so. Neither can I. That's why I had a good cheaper one, <laughs> and I ended up a getting a cheaper one that just suite. happens to be in a suite. What are you gonna be <laughs> sitting up there next to Taylor Swift? You know, like what yeah, the hell? Probably no. Jesus. No. Hannah would never let you live that down. That you get to meet if you got to meet Taylor Swift. I actually have. I just haven't told her yet. Everyone in chat is telling me to look at the general. Yeah, it's you is with the afro. Yeah, I've seen that already. I'm not. The I'm not munch. pulling that up for for the record. Um. Well, the munch, I guess well, I guess that's all. I like the got. afro. Yeah, I love the the afro. Um, the afro is nice. That'll do it 
for today's episode, this week's episode. Kiefer, you want to send us off proper? Oh, you know what time it is. Gentlemen. You know what time it is. Here we go. It's classic right here. Another great flip. I think he keeps getting better with time. Every flip, he keeps going. You know, one going. of these days, I feel like I'm going to really hurt myself. Well, yeah, probably. Hopefully. But that was it. Another great front flip to end us off. Maybe one of these days you'll land on your feet. You just got to keep rotating more and more every single time. You know, I, I'm jumping up onto a higher surface. So in order for me to do that, you know how high I'd have to jump? I think you just have that. I think that just means you have to rotate faster. But I'm no, I'm not really into gymnastics. But, anyways, that'll do it for this episode of the Plum Wild Podcast. Thank you again to House of Speed for sponsoring tonight's episode. Don't forget to use code Plum Wild fifteen for fifteen percent off at checkout. For myself and Damian Kiefer, thank you all for tuning in, and we'll see you right back here in the next one.